Hi everyone, this is Becky with Becky Budgets. Just wanted to come on here today to do our week three cash stuffing. Um, I went ahead and I'm using natural light today so that um, we don't get that weird ring right here <laughs> when I'm filming. Let me know if it looks nicer or not. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, let's go ahead and get all of our leftover out. So here are my envelopes. Here's my change. Perfect. So I'll set that off to the side. So here's the change that we collected during the week. As I had said last week, we don't count it. Um, we actually put it into our um, one gallon glass jar that we got on Amazon and we set that aside. We don't cash it in until October for our anniversary. So we'll see in October how much money we actually saved. Now in groceries, I had $15 left and in personal, I had $2 left. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to roll the $10 back into groceries and then if we have any extra at the end of the month we'll go ahead and put it um, either towards our emergency fund or towards debt and then these two envelopes will get refilled now I as I had said last week I'm gonna go ahead and save our one dollar and our five dollar bills um, just to see how well, we can accumulate these. So we'll go ahead and put these $2 in here. And we'll do the first $5 in here. Perfect. Awesome. So let's set that aside. Now today, I'm going to be filling $445. Let's go ahead and count that. It is 100, 152, 250, 270, 290. Hold on. Let me start over because I think the 220 is stuck. So 100, 150, 2, 250, 270, 290. 310, 330, 330, 330, 330, 30, I mean, sorry, $445. Let's get that set up. Perfect. Is that a dollar? Nope, it's another five. There we go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and start with our variable binder. In groceries, we're actually gonna go ahead, since it's fully funded this month, and we're gonna put the $100 in for week three. So that's gonna go ahead and be added to these $10 for our weekly groceries. Now in gas, we're gonna go ahead and put $100, so I usually put 50s in there. Currently, we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 201, 22, and 23. So $203 is what we have in gas. And we are kind of staying on budget with that. Um, we're already mid 
April and we haven't dipped into April's money. We're still using the money that we brought into this. So that's awesome. Fur babies, uh, we have $100 left to put in there. So I'll go ahead and put that $100 bill in there. So that'll take this to 150. We do have a gift card in there um, from a rebate that we got on some heartworm medication. And so that is gonna be funded enough to get them groomed because both of them are quite shaggy. Personal, I'm gonna go ahead and put my 100 in personal. So that's gonna be 50, two 20s and a 10. Let's go ahead and count that. So that's 50, 70, 90, 100. And so I'll go ahead and leave 50 in my personal envelope. And the other 50 I'll leave in here. Now I will be using this money this weekend um, to pay for my sister-in-law's birthday gift since our gift fund is still too low. Hubby already got his money, he already has his money. Um, we did not touch our miscellaneous this week so we've got 20, 40, and 50 still in miscellaneous and that was filled for the month. So we don't expect to revisit that until May. And then eating out, we've got the 20, 40, and 50 that we had put in last week. I did not have to dip into that this week, which is awesome. And um, my husband actually got a $50 gift card to um, restaurants nearby that we can dip into. Uh, last but not least, we've got Snowball. Snowball, we're gonna go ahead and put 40 in. And we'll see where that is sitting. We're getting closer to the end of the month where we're gonna pay that off. Uh, and it is going towards our best buy. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five, six, seven, and eight. So we've got $108 that we've saved up to pay that. Our goal is to get it paid off by the end of the month, but we'll see how we do. Okay, we're all set with our variable binder, so let's go ahead and take out our sinking fund binder. Medical is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 25, so Go ahead and do 20 and a five. And that currently has 50, 70, and five. So $75 in medical. We are trying to bulk that up about $100 a month. Um, Linus and Leo's sinking fund is getting 15. So a 10 and a five. And that takes us to 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45 for week three. Now we've got household. Household is also getting 15. We're working towards getting, there's 10 and five. We're working towards getting to that $150 buffer. Um, I'm holding out as much as I can <laughs> because um, I do buy in bulk and we are starting to get low on some stuff. So it's getting a little tight, but we'll see how long we can hold out on not buying stuff. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and $45 is what we have in household. Gifts is also gonna be getting $15. We're trying to bulk that up. We've got Mother's Day coming up, so that's a big one. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and $45 is what we have in gifts. Next, we've got car maintenance. We're gonna go ahead and add 15 to car maintenance. 
So that's 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So we're basically at um, enough to do an oil change. I'm sorry about that. We have a, a, um, a neighbor that's actually moving out. And so the dogs have been a little crazy today. So I'm sorry if you can hear them. Vacation's gonna go ahead and get $5. So it's currently at five, 10, and 15. Our plan for this summer is to go camping um, since it's free in, in a lot of the places here in our state and we have all our camping gear. So we'll be able to get away from the city relatively inexpensively just buying food and water. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, what are your plans to for this summer? I'd be curious to know. Next, we've got renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is getting $3. So one, two, and three. And it currently has five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars. That will not be due until June, I believe. Car registration is getting three dollars as well. One, two, and three. And that takes us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine dollars in car registration. We should not need to register any of our vehicles until May, no, March of next year. And then last but not least, we have um, the emergency fund. I went ahead and deposited the $100 bills that we had in here into our savings. So now I've got a $1,000 tracker in there. And it's currently has one, two, three, and four. There should be $4 left. So one, two, three, and four. So we've got 1,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So 1,008. Now I'm noticing now that I've got an extra $5 bill and I know exactly where it goes. <laughs> so let's go right back into the uh, variable spending binder. I had actually budgeted 45 and not 40 for this week's extra debt payment. So we actually have 20, 40, 60, 81. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have $113 towards Snowball. Awesome. I'm glad I caught that and that I remembered. Um, so yeah, that's it friends. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you liked my video, go ahead and like it. And uh, thank you to all the new subscribers and the returning subscribers that I have on my channel. I love interacting with all of you. I hope you all have a great day and I will be back on Sunday to um, go ahead and set up our week four budget. I hope you all have a safe and happy weekend and take care. I'll see you soon.